Hey, it's Sean from Journey Alberta. Right now, I'm in the Ghost Public Land Use Zone with my friend Jesse. It's located west northwest of Cochrane. We're out here today because we were kind of going to try and scout out some potential random camping areas, but we kind of got blocked by a lot of water and stuff on the road because everything's thawing a lot right now, so we got kind of blocked by that. So as you can see, right in behind me here, all these trees that are knocked over, it's actually due to snow load because as the winter turns into spring, the warm air melts the snow, creates some ice up on the top. You get a little bit of wind, that hard ice and snow that's on the top, it causes all these branches and trees to bend over like that. You can actually even hear them bending a little bit. I'm not sure if the microphone's picking that up, but. You can hear the branches bending and stuff because of the snow load that would have happened this year, most likely. All right, so somebody here made a little shillelagh. Shillelagh is Irish for club or walking stick. Back in Ireland, they would make walking sticks and they would fill the tip up with lead, a little bulb up in there. So if any young hooligan tried to rush an old man, they would just bonk. Bonk, take them out, so yeah, shillelagh. So as Jesse and I are walking around out here, we're trying to make sure that we don't get lost. So I have a compass on my phone that I'm using right now. Now to get back to our vehicle, we just have to head 30 degrees north, approximately. And going, we're kind of heading the other way, going about 200 degrees kind of south-southwest. So we just need to make sure we stick to that and we won't get lost out here. After wandering around this area, we found a few spots that look like they could be suitable for camping. I think my personal favorite was the area by the snow loaded trees that were all bent over. Looks like there was already a pre-existing fire pit there, so it's just better to use that area if we were to come on here because that way we're lessening our impact on this area by using something that's already there. So yeah, I think we're gonna come on here hopefully in a week, weather permitting and Jesse permitting. You know, this place really reminds me of like the, the magical forest everybody thinks of as a kid. It's a real enchanted place to be. So this is what we have to wander through getting back. This big field of ice and slush to get back to the vehicle because the road is completely flooded out at this point. So we were just about to leave here. You can see Jesse's vehicles right there behind me. And we thought we'd walk up this little hill here just to see if there's any possible camping areas because I just read the sign that's in behind me as well and it says that 
Camping is allowed as long as you're not within one kilometer of a public land use recreation area, which we're not close to at all. So we thought we'd walk up this hill here and check out if there's any camping areas right close to the vehicle. So a good tip when you're hiking these kind of random areas is that there aren't sometimes a lot of trails, marked trails. So what you want to do is you want to go up to a tree, you want to kind of hit off a little bit with your knife, hit down, then hit up, and then do it again on the other side of the tree from when you're walking backwards. So that way you don't really lose your place and you're hiking into the bushes. You can kind of see the familiar areas, that way you don't get lost. I found another area I think would be very good for having a campsite. There's already a pre-built fire behind me, as you can see. I think this area would be pretty good because it's kind of raised up a little bit more. It's not down in a valley or anything. The other area with the, the bended trees was like that too, but this one's only like a few hundred meters from the vehicle, which is pretty good. One of the great things about this public land use zone is that you can have a fire where you want to, and you can also collect deadfall to burn. That's a major difference from provincial parks and provincial recreation areas, because there, you can only burn the firewood that either they provide, I just heard a gunshot in the distance, it was pretty far away, but in those uh, provincial parks and pub provincial recreation areas, you can only burn either the wood that you bring or the wood that, you can, be, that can be bought there. In backcountry camping, like Point and Jewel Bay, like I went, I went to Jewel Bay earlier this year already. There, you can only use the wood that's provided. So, this is a really good alternative to that. It's also very cost-effective as well. 